Hi everybody, this is Eva and it's 4th of July. And before I get on with my day, I wanted to share um, a craft haul and some projects that I have um, that I've been working on. So first, let me get started. I got a little bit from here and there, so it's not like I actually spent a lot at different places because um, I was, uh, I didn't, I was, I've been really picky lately because I'm trying to focus on my, um, my, my spending. But here's what I found at Tuesday morning. And this is, I think, sometime last week. I'm not really sure when I did this. But here we go. This is Colorways by Paper House. And it's a die cut set. And there's, um, they're like journaling size, the larger size and the smaller size. And they have all these beautiful like little styles in the back. And I was able to find this red one, this blue one that I love so much, and I can't wait to create something with this. I really like this one, You Make Every Day Happy. How cute is that? It has a butterfly and flower, celestial stuff. And that's the blue one. And I think, I'm trying to see. They have the same number. They're all the same number. So yeah, here's the green one, great for, um, little accents for the holidays here and there for um you could do some for um st patrick's day or every day look at this wood grain kind of green one um okay that one has like the wood grain the green one i just this has more like a boho kind of feel to it i don't know if you can see it from there uh this has this little pattern and the black one and black one has this really floral interesting design there so I was able to get those four ones. I don't I think I saw somebody else with a different color. Um, if they had purple, that would be awesome. But those are okay. Then next I found this. It's called, it's a mink. And it says that you use it with your mink foil applicator. I don't have one of those, but they're cute little journaling cards. And they're, what are they, like three by three? Yeah, three by three. And there are different ones. Look at how cute these are. These are great accents for so many projects. And I didn't really think I need the whole mink foil project thing. So that's kind of cool. So many. And that was 99 cents. And they are a set of 18 pieces. And lastly, from Tuesday morning, I got it's made by Plaid. And it's a stencil set. It has 12 designs. And they're all um, small bits of design. So each page you cannot see it on camera i know each page has four designs so here are the designs it has it has a little girly like animal print and then uh, star circles and little patterns so i thought this would be great for um so many different things uh but i really like the whole using my uh, my stamps and using that little uh, distressor and having some fun with that so that's all I have for Tuesday morning. Here's my super small Michaels collection. And first, let me start with this. This was a regular price $3.99 set, 12 different bangles they call it. But these are great for shaker pockets, tiny little stars, uh, hearts, little different sequence, musical notes, um, little squares, hearts, and what have you, stars. So I used a I think I had 40% off, but at the same time, it was an extra 25 off a regular and um, sale. So I don't recall what I paid for this, but it was a great deal. So it's 40 plus the extra 25. And I found these uh, jars of washi, and this is the boho collection. I was really trying to find the tropical ones, but they didn't have any. They had the little rolls, but they were all gone. So, But I was able to find these jars, and these jars are, were regularly $12.99. And they were on 70% and plus I used a 25. So anyway, my total pay for this jar was like $2.83. And I get a jar, a plastic jar. I wish they sold these plastic jars by themselves. If they do, somebody knows, please let me know because I have a bunch of the little glass ones and I would love the plastic ones. So this jar has, let's count them. I already used a little bit of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. 12 washies for under three bucks look at that and these patterns are lovely and they're all kinds of blue tones greens these are this is the boho collection there's that little elephant it is super cute 
And I was also able to grab this orange one. They only had two patterns, so for sure I grabbed these. And again, yeah, these are 12. I don't know why I opened them, but since I did, let's kind of focus on the patterns here. Is it focusing? Is it? Oh, I'm not sure if it's focusing. But anyway, this one has a feather, all kinds of cute designs. I loved it. So I'm gonna keep them in here. Sometimes out of sight, out of mind. I noticed that, so I have to start putting things more at a visual spot for me so that I can remember what I have and start using more of my stash. Let's put these on this side over here. And next, um, this is the last of my Michaels. This is a celebrated occasional, uh, yeah, um, occasional decorative trim. And I got this like pastel pink and this really beautiful blue. And these were $1.99 from, from uh, the $4.99. But I'm not sure if they were clearance or not. I don't remember if I got the extra 25%. But I just thought these were beautiful and I can't wait to figure out what I'm going to do with them because uh, I can't wait. This looks like maybe ocean mermaid, mermaid-ish kind of stuff. I thought that was kind of cool. And that's all I have for Michaels, not a lot. Next is Dollar Tree, and I posted some of these on my Instagram a while ago, but I thought I'd share them because uh, I haven't been able to make the video. So I said, you know what, before I put these away, let me share. These are little, like, puffy cats. How cute is that? I'm not a cat person, but I know people who like cats, and they're gonna love this. This beautiful, big butterfly. This is gonna be awesome to make birthday cards for little girls. I just love it so much. And uh, these I've gotten before and I've used them and I love them. I kind of love this one for myself. I just always love anything to do with peace and peace signs. It just reminds me of being in high school and uh, loving the whole peace sign ordeal. That was hot back then. And um, I think peace will always be hot. What am I saying? And these little owls that I purchased before. So I kind of want to make something for myself with these, but what am I going to do? And then these robots, I've used this before too when I saw them again and I had to get them because I made birthday cards with these and they were gone. And then these little, they're, called, they're stickers and there are butterflies on here and doily lacy stuff. And then this one, a bird and flowers, kind of dainty and different. And the, these are all by Jot. Jot is doing a really great job for the Dollar Tree. Um, some, these I noticed, okay, these are little bling blings. They don't stick very well. I always have to use glue for them. And hearts and bunch of hearts. These are coming handy, Valentine. And um, those are pretty cool. And then lastly, look at this. These are cupcakes and uh, treats and gummy bears and what have you. I hope somebody posts a sweet treat kind of a pocket, uh, some kind of uh, swap to do with treats or what have you because I really, really want to use this. Oh, excuse me. Okay, that's what that's the Dollar Tree one. And here's my little AliExpress. First of all, this is a clear stamp with so many different sentiments that I thought I had to get it. And it says, thank you, there's always a reason to smile, thinking of you, seize today, love for you, thank you, you are my happy, don't worry, be happy, I love you, you are my sunshine. Look at this little corner one, it says, sent with love, ooh, I'm gonna use this on my happy mail, home sweet home. Uh, joy, thanks, miss you, be brave, be happy. I really like that one, be brave, be happy. Uh, life is beautiful, oh, life is beautiful just for you. All you need is love. So um, I thought this was great and I honestly forgot how much I paid for this and I don't have my phone handy so that I could show you what the price was. And then check this out. It's the little heart, um, shaped die that when you dot cut it up and fold it it becomes the little envelope so it's the die it comes with and lastly my favorite part my project share so i signed up for two well i signed up for yeah for two swaps of tropical paradise and this is what i came up with i have two pocket letters that are very similar yet different here we go with the first one this one the first three pocket letters, I see here, I have these little puffy stickers, there's a little border like frame and it says paradise found, all you need is love. So like these two little pi pineapples are in love. 
And I made this little rosette with this beautiful flower that I had got a Tuesday morning. And then I have this little bow here that I made with my envelope puncher. And today is the day with another little pineapple. Now, let's see here. My second row, I got these, these were like little wooden tags from Michael's. And I did a lot of fussy cutting with uh, these little pineapples right here and here. And then this little flower that I have from my a card making die kit. I just used the flower because I think it looked tropical and I might have used a different color, but it's okay. And then this one has like a little tropic, like tropic like it's hot. Haha, <laughs> get it? Like drop it like it's hot. It's a little uh, mini uh, puffy uh, shaker sticker. And then here is a little mason jar with the uh, pineapples, like it's pineapple jam or something, so I think. And then here, who goes? Paradise is for relaxing, uh, so I said relax. And here's a little, this little rosette is like pineapple. You can't really tell, but it's a pineapple print. And there's a little flower there. And then I made this frame with bling and then put a pineapple, put a little bling there and backed it with another bit of uh, paper. And then lastly, here's all my, so much fussy cutting. Here's a leaf, little pineapples and a flamingo. And the back, what did I put? Let's see here. I have the puffy stickers, a little shaker sticker, one of the wooden tags, a bow. Some little, um, to me, kind of had like a pineapple, tropical kind of print um, paper clips and little envelopes. Oh, let me take those out. Little stickers, some washi sample, um, more cutouts. Let me, let's see here. These are the ones that I fussy cut. So let's take these out. So here's the pocket. Let's put that back there. So there's a pineapple, a uh, big old leaf. More pineapples, different sizes of pineapples. And these little suckers took a long time to cut. So I sat there, I don't know what I was watching, maybe the Jennifer Lopez dancing show or what have you, I think it was, and I was just sitting there watching TV cutting away. So let me put this back. And it's. I still have to put my note. And um, I'm gonna put my notes separate and, and I'll show you where I'll put it. But also I made these are two little envelopes, and each one has a note card that I made. And these are blank for this person, my recipient, to use. I put his little flamingo print, a pineapple, and some blank. It's a blank note, and it fits in here perfectly. And I like this size because it fits in the pockets. And this is using the five inch, uh, five square, five inch square paper on your, um, and then you just follow the format on your. Um, your punch board. And here is a little pineapple with a little bling. And this is the pineapple, like cut up pineapple print. I thought that was so funny, I liked it. And it was kind of hard to use in these backgrounds because it would kind of like get lost. So I said the envelope will actually show it better. So that's my first tropical one. And my second tropical one is very similar, but I try to make them a little different because I don't want to make identical ones. I don't like making identical projects. Uh, I hope nobody ever asked me to make like a bunch of the same old card because I would hate that. I like different every time. So here we go. This one has a pineapple flower, this little like another flower. It has on this one I put some uh, uh, trim and I glued it down. This is like cloth trim and it says make today the best and here's a pineapple on the uh, palm tree, some little pineapples and here I have a shaker pineapple card with a flower and another flower. Here. It's hard to tell, but in the background, I have a jar. And it says, remember to play. And there's some pineapples here in this little rosette. Here I have, it's a, um, uh, a brad with a flamingo, pineapple bit, and it says sweet. Here's another rosette that I made. And, I, oh, I forgot to tell you. Here's a little Hello Kitty. I'm trying to remember to always include my little Hello Kitty everywhere I go. And here's, this is like a, this trim is, um, like very fuzzy and soft and different. I love it and it's little flowers. And my last pocket here, it says, life is good, said the flamingo. And there's a bow here. I had to cut out the bits, otherwise I couldn't get it in. Here's a little flower. Here's a pineapple, Brad. And then relax with a little flower and there. And the back, again, a bow, stickers, washi, this and that and that and that. Oh, and look at these. I these uh, buttons in my stash and I do forgot I had these a little shell two little shells and a pearl so I made these little um, 
paper clips. And then these two little flowers and then a mason jar and some more fussy cuts. And let's see what cards, where are the cards? Oh, they're up here. So the cards I made for this one are, let's see here, coordinating paper. Ooh, look at that, pineapple. Let me see here, pineapple with the pineapple. And I think this is supposed to be like the pineapple print of the outside of the pineapple. And then this one, flamingos and pineapple. You know, I really, really love this paper pad. I wish I would have it here with me so I could share it. It's, I forgot what it's called, but it was like, the, I went looking for this heart one that I really wanted to get but I couldn't find it but then I fell in love with this one it's very tropical I forgot what it's called oh, I'll see if I can remember and then later on edit my my um, notes and oh and I have these bows that I'm going to send out one and one I don't know which one's gonna get what but obviously they're too big for that and I just wanted to, I made them so I said let me share them and lastly for this pineapple paradise each i'm not sure what's gonna get what but here so i was just trying diff trying different sizes of envelopes and i came up with these and i was like oh my goodness these don't fit in there oh and i put my info on one of these so this one is here's where i'm gonna write my note to my recipient because i don't know who it is yet so well one of them i do so i'm not sure which one i'm gonna give her but this is a little tag that i made i put a little bow and it was a tag so i kind of layered uh, a tag on top of um, a piece of paper and that was a, a journaling card that I taped to the back and that fit in here perfectly surprised I was and then this little card says sweet escape and this is where I'm gonna write my note and then I stick it in here and mail it like that so lastly with my project share oh I wonder if this will just hmm, no I won't I was thinking I could use this here this I was sitting in my craft area and I was thinking I just I need to craft because craft is my therapy so I looked through my stuff and I wanted to make something with the blue color because I love blue and blue makes me happy so I made this for no particular reason other than to sit there and let my creative juices flow and escape uh, for myself for a little bit do my my me time and here's what I came up with and I posted it on Instagram and I was like trying to figure out what the theme was and Somebody said summer, and then somebody said like boho, but maybe summer boho is what it probably is. I don't know. It doesn't even matter what the theme is. The fact is that I love it, and guess what? It's for me. I'm going to post it on my my wall in my craft area because um, I really like it. And here are the pockets. This one says cultivate kindness, and it's, you know, growing a flower, and it's cultivating kindness, a kind bird. This one says, challenge yourself. Two little birds, a mommy bird and a baby bird. That's me and my D, so I say. And then these little flowers sparkle and I put some bling there. And since it's only for me, I said, you know what, let me tape it up and I don't have to worry about trying to put anything in the back. And here's a flower and it says, remember the now. And then this one says, make a wish and I have bling on there. And the, the back paper is, I got a piece of paper, um, I, I used my different blue inks and I distressed the whole page of different tones of blue and then I came back and, and I stamped it and then after all that I had some Mod Podge with the glitter, I just poured it on there with a piece of paper, I slid it on there and I put all kinds of stuff on there and I let it dry overnight so it became like this crusty paper and, and it came out really, really awesome. And I really liked it and that again was for me and this one says come what may and it says shine so we don't really know what's coming our way but let it be we'll figure it out this one says love life and says shine and then this one says don't forget to fly just keep going like keep swimming keep playing don't let anything get you down and then this one says life I'm sorry live every day with intention so I really like that one. This is more of a, now that I think about it, it's really a motivational uh, project for me. And I think I really needed this and it's, I'm loving it. And it says, embrace beautiful chaos. Isn't this amazing? Like I'm tooting my own horn, but now that I'm looking at it the second day, I'm just really loving it for so many reasons. And I'm gonna post this on my wall. I'm gonna remember this every day. and. 
when I made this, I was going through something and guess what? It's gonna help me get through it. So that's what I have here. I have so much um, stuff that I shared and this was an awesome deal. I hope you guys keep watching and keep on following on Instagram. And if you have any videos you want me to watch, any great deals that you found, hey, share with me. I would love to check it out. And if I can run out there and try to find it, go for it. Okay, thanks so much, guys. And I appreciate everybody's watching.